Mm. Isaiah 49 has been a powerful scripture to me. He said he made me into a polished arrow, you know, and I thought, what does that look like? An arrow has got the, the main wooden stem with the piece on the front and flights on the back, you know, the arrow head. This does the work. You as an evangelist, you're going into churches at the moment. The evangelist preaches the gospel and people come to Christ because yes. the arrowhead is sharp. It's been raised up by God. It's been worked on. And the flights, I used to say that was, I'm a good Pentecostal, aren't I? Uh, sensitivity to the Holy Spirit. But I actually believe it's sensitivity, sensitivity to yes. people, to need, to be alert, as well as a sensitivity to the Spirit. The bit that we forget is the arrow. Yes. What they did in the ancient world was, was take a piece of wood that was as straight as they thought they could find. They would either soak it in water or in a dry area, like Aboriginal areas, it would be heated. And then they would fix it to the ground and leave it there. Day, night, hot, cold, good, bad. And I watched that happen in my own life. I watched it happen in other people's lives. So that that arrow, when it is taken out of, of those pegs, it is straight. What we do in the modern world is we find people with all these gifts, hugely powerful, whoa, but their character's not straight. Well, when Christ puts that arrow in, it's bent and it misses the target. And we have too many illustrations of that, don't we? Yeah. So how do we, how do we help grow the excitement of the disciplined life that you might be pegged down in, in some Absolutely. area of your life? And it happens to us, it's happened to you in your maturity, it's yeah. happened to me in my maturity in ministry, an area gets locked down, whatever it is, opportunities to speak, finances, relationships are a bit tight. It's all manner of things happen that just help keep forming the character because our life is, a, is a, an arrow factory. We've not just got one arrow, there's a lot of arrows. He hides them in his quiver till he's ready. Yes, absolutely. And anyway, that, analogy, that was a little sermon. There that we go. analogy, <laughs> David, is so good as well. And also the bow and the arrow. You have to pull the arrow back for it to go further forward. True. And sometimes um, <clears throat> God wants us to be pulled back mm -hmm. and we don't like being pulled back. True. You know, but sometimes we do need to be pulled back, only that we can be sharpened to go further forward. I really hope that you have enjoyed this interview. Can I encourage you to hit subscribe so that you can get more of these interviews in the future?